and welcome to Knit with Hannah. Today I'm showing you how to knit elbow patches. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed already, you just click the little button below and click on the bell as well so you'll be notified when a new video comes up. That is every Tuesday, every week. Now today we are looking at elbow patches. I noticed a few weeks ago that this favourite cardigan of mine, which I've had for five years I think, had a hole in the elbow. I'd been wearing it non-stop and I just didn't realise that it had started to go. So I said, do I look for a new cardigan or do I keep wearing it because I love it so much? Yes, it's a fair row pattern and some of the strands have just started to break a little bit and tear. That's mainly down here rather than at the top. So I thought if I can patch the elbow, I can keep wearing it. it it's a lamb's wool and it has really lasted and worn very well. So I'm going to show you how I knitted those elbow patches. What you need is a ball of yarn and here I've used Rowan Felted Tweed DK. It is a really nice thin DK. It's the way it's made is just means that instead of four millimeters it's more like three and uh, three and three quarter to four millimeter needles. Just that tiny bit thinner. And also when you knit with this it really the stitches really felt together really well there's lots of fibers coming out of the yarn and they knit together and they sit together very well once it's knitted i'm using three and a half millimeter needles so you just need a scraps of yarn rather than a whole ball um, in my demo i will be showing you just using ends of yarn and that's exactly what i did with this it was half a ball and i still have quite a bit left so there you go, three and a half millimetre needles, some thin DK yarn, and you're good to go. All right then, so I have the felted tweed, like I said. I've got two colours there that I could use, but I'm actually gonna use the smaller ball of yarn there. I'm going to use the purple. You really do not need that much. And we have three and a half millimetre needles, so I'm going to cast on, and I'm going to use 10 stitches to start with. I'm using the cable method cast on, which you can find in my um, cast on playlist, or you can obviously um, do it yourself too. I do recommend the cable cast on so that it's not stretchy because you want this to be a specific shape. We're looking for a circle when we knit this. Okay, so I am just counting my stitches there. Just make sure you count your stitches as well so you know where you are. I think I had too many on the, that row there. And this whole thing is made in garter stitch. So I'm knitting two rows here. By knitting it all the way through with garter stitch, it means that we do have a thicker pad on the elbow. Um, and it means it will wear well. It will also stretch more because the garter stitch means that the stitches, the rows are just kind of pulled together slightly. That's the nature of that fabric. Okay, and here I've reached the right side again, so I'm just putting this little piece of yarn over and through this first row here. And that means that by doing this, I will have just a little marker. By having a marker on the right side rather than the wrong side, I am making sure that I know where I'm doing the interesting rows. Uh, you can, you could use a metal um, row marker, a right side marker, but it's more likely to pull the fabric because this, this is, um, while, it, while we're knitting it, it's quite delicate, it's going to be quite light. So along here, we are doing an interesting row. We are knitting one, then making one, then knitting one and making one. I'll just let you watch this and then I'll go back to the recording and show you exactly what happens as we get there. 
Yes, with this um, thread sitting here at the beginning, at the front, it means that we are very well aware of what is going on and which, when we do the increasing. So we do that again. We knit one, we increase by putting the left hand needle in from the front and we knit into the back of that loop. And then we go all the way to the end. And this garter stitch means that the um, patch is actually thicker than it would be if it was um, a stocking stitch. And here we knit this by putting on the needle, moving the left hand needle into it from the back and we knit into the front of it. There you go. And then, oops, we knit the last one and we keep increasing. So I'm going to keep increasing until I have 20 stitches and I'll see you then. Okay, I have increased to 20 stitches and by having it with one increase technique on one side, one increase technique on the other side, there is actually, you can actually see that looking very closely, it is symmetrical. Now, the task is to knit all the way to eight centimeters. And you can see there that I've measured from the cast on to just underneath the just underneath the needle. And with that tag still there right at the cast on, you can see when we do the decreasing, because that's what we're doing. We're creating a, a circular shape and we're going to decrease on both sides of the rows again. And we're going to decrease only when we have that right side the tag side showing and we're going to increase with again two different techniques so to start off the row we're doing knit one and then we are knitting two together which basically means putting the stitch into two stitches at once and then we zoom across the row all the way through it's knitting again we're still doing the garter stitch and what we're going to do at the other end is what is known as SS Okay, so knit until you have three stitches left on your needle, and then you slip one, you slip two, and then you move that left hand needle into both of those stitches, and it looks like you're knitting them. But actually, instead of the knit two together, those two stitches, while they're knitted together, are slanting in the other direction. And that's it. For every tag row, you decrease exactly that same way, knit two together at one side and SSK on the other and then you will decrease until you have 10 stitches left on your needle and would you believe it that's it that is your elbow patch done. So we're increasing from 10 stitches to 22 stitches, we're knitting 8 centimeters of garter stitch all the way in the middle and then we're decreasing back down to 10 stitches. Isn't that great? You have your elbow patch and of course once you've knitted one you cast off and you have to knit the second one. Uh, I I tell you what would be lovely how about if you knit them in two different colours. <laughs> okay. okay. Well I hope that was helpful. You now know how to knit elbow patches. You can knit a couple for your favourite cardigans as well favourite jumpers and they will last a couple more years just like this one will. Right, I hope to see you next week. Like I said, do subscribe and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes up. That's every Tuesday, every week. I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.